Personlig økonomi er obligatorisk fag ved en del videregående skoler i USA. Det lærer om sparing, investeringer og økonomisk planlegging. Og det trengs, for mange unge går i fremtid i møte med lågare levestandard enn det foreldre har. All right, Keegan, I'll let you get out of the way. All right, welcome to class. Det er siste time for avgangselevene ved en skole i Vermont. Og på timeplanen står hverken matte eller engelsk. We want to spend some time. We're going to set some savings goals for our future. We're going to understand why we save money and why some people struggle to save money. So the plan for class today is on the post-it notes at your table. Yes. We're going to try to think of as many things as possible that you would like to spend your money on either now or in the future. Personlig økonomi er et obligatorisk fag ved denne skolen. Elevene lærer blant annet hvordan man sparer. I wrote a lot of things. I'm an athlete and my favorite pair of shoes to wear on the court are Kobe 6s, so I would buy a lot of lot more pairs. I would want money for like college and a house when I'm older. Car and college and like Target and jewelry and one of my friends had a private jet and I wrote that down cuz that would be cool. I 17 år har lærer Courtney Pocket undervist i dette faget her. Og hun ser at det blir stadig viktigere. I think for students it's so important that they understand where to put their money, where and then where it's going to be safe. And so for a lot of our students, they may have bank accounts, but may not understand how they really work. Overdraft protection is where if you don't have enough money in your checking account, you can still purchase an item, and then there's a thirty dollar fee on top of that. From from somebody or the bank or the car dealership, and then you have to pay that back. Marianne har kommet lenger enn mange i klassen med sparingen. For i fjor sommer fant hun noe lurt på nettet. Så basically this summer I was just looking at summer dresses and I stumbled across this saving goal challenge. I have saved a lot and, and this, this, not this month, but the next month I plan on getting a car. So how much did you save? It's like, it's a lot, it's like $8,000. $8,000? Class is the class that I wish I had in high school. So we go from everywhere from thinking about your first career to what you're going to do the year after you graduate um, to planning all the way to retirement. So in Winooski, we're very fortunate. It's a required class. So there's 17 states in the country right now that require this class for every student to graduate. In those states where it is a requirement, the students will borrow less for college and they'll have higher credit scores. I USA har det meste blitt dyrere etter pandemien. Boligprisene fyker i været, og det gjør også prisen på utdanning. David har fått kjenne på det i de to årene som er gått siden han fullførte videregående. Men personlig økonomifaget han hadde på skolen reddet han, og vel så det. Hvis vi ikke har klasser som dette, så vil vi bare repetere siden, og folk vil bare stå i det samme environmentet, i stedet for å gå og bli mer velde og forstå hva det betyr. Uh, today I am working on editing a video for my clothing brand, Thoughtfully Overthinking. David har startet et produksjonsselskap som lager videoer og sitt eget klesmerke. I tillegg jobber han i en bank. De han lærte om økonomisk planlegging og sparing kommer godt med. I use it every single day with starting my businesses, with my own personal budgets. I'm just imposing that you give it to me and just me. My dream is to be a marketing manager, have, you know, a little side businesses. I want to have, like, a rental property. Um, I also want to have a house with a kid and family and, you know, live this, like, a good, normal, a good, normal life. På skolen i den lille byen Vinuski er en ny dag i gang. Noen av elevene forbereder butikken de driver, der de lærer hvordan en bygger en business. Nyttig også for elever som har foreldre som driver butikk. My parents have no idea what they're doing with their money, and so I'll take everything I learned here and I'll tell it to them. In my house, I don't have conversations with my parents about money. Um, like it, it's just something we don't really talk about because my parents have told me that it's like it's rude or like people with more money tend to talk less about their money and stuff like that. So I think like walking into this class and learning all this stuff that my parents are doing and that I'm going to have to do eventually, it's just like it's the best thing. 
is it taboo to talk about money in the U.S.? There are studies that show that parents are more willing to talk about sex with their kids than they are to talk about money with their kids. Why? And, and I feel like the reason that people don't like to talk about it maybe is they're afraid of being judged. Like, we have all, and I tell the students this, I've made terrible financial decisions in my life. I'm not teaching this class because I'm perfect with money. Marianne har snart spart de 100 000 kronene hun trenger til bil. Men enn så lenge er det moren som må kjøre henne til jobben på McDonald's. I feel like in this country, with all the things going on, it's really, really smart to have money saved somewhere locked in. Hun jobber her fire dager i uka etter skoletid. For det koster å sikre fremtiden sin om hun er ung i USA. Når Marianne har spart nok til bilen, er neste sparemål klart. College is really expensive. Um, it's a lot, but I have help with um, grants I apply to. I also apply to a couple scholarships. My dream is to complete college with a bachelor's degree, and um, I want to work in social work. We need to put our attention more on our people, and I want to be that figure.